After introducing Black Frieza as the new main villain, Dragon Ball has been in a weird position. With the new animation series turning everyone into children, almost feels like a reboot of the franchise for its 40th year anniversary, to the stuff that was currently going on in the manga that was recapping a movie for over one year. It all looked like it was headed in an interesting direction. Black Frieza and the entire cast basically getting a god tier transformation. It's taken a while, but we are finally getting somewhere with this story. Maybe. For me, I just refuse to cover stuff in Dragon Ball that I don't care about. And for years, it's sort of been like that. With a movie recap and turning everyone into kids, I'm clearly not the demographic that they're targeting right now. But with every inch they push towards the end of the Z, they will have my attention. Goku and Gohan finally reunite. We're seeing where the story goes after the end of Gohan's fight with Cell. So now that Gohan can tap into the beast form at will, he uses it on some random goons who come after him at his mansion, all the while cutting to Beerus' homeworld where Broly and Vegeta are actually sparring a little bit, keeping Broly in his base to teach him how to control his immense level of power, while Whis just casually tells Goku about the recent events on Earth in that Cell was revived and Gohan and Piccolo were able to handle it no problem, even stating that Gohan's power in that moment had surpassed both Goku and Vegeta's. So, some confirmation there. That wasn't inaccurate power scaling. Gohan is actually the strongest guy right now, according to Whis. And you know Goku's not just going to take that, so he teleports straight to Earth to have his first interaction with his sons in just over one year. Because they were all able to prove themselves against a being like the revived Cell, Goku takes them all to Beerus' homeworld, likely in order to prepare for Black Frieza, which is looking to be a relevant plot point coming up next, hopefully. Gohan spars with Goten and Trunks in Super Saiyan for a bit, and he is clearly still stronger than them. So Goten and Trunks decide to fuse, and what a surprise, they mess it up again. The amount of times they do this, this technique is more of a hindrance than anything else. Goten and Trunks are being resorted to comic relief characters, but thankfully that doesn't last very long. Goku and Gohan step up together. They bow, keeping it very respectful, and are about to have an Ultra Instinct vs. Beast form fight. Goku taps into UI, and Gohan can now tap into the Beast like it's natural. Apparently, a difference from the movie to the manga adaption is that while Beast Gohan is still considered stronger than Goku by Whis, he is nerfed in this version of the story. Some people were comparing the movie counterpart of him with Black Frieza, whereas here, it looks like he is now just on a similar level to Goku and likely Vegeta. Regardless of this, Vegeta is shocked. Everyone is blown away seeing Beast Gohan for the first time. Goku has sort of a proud dad moment and they are blowing everyone away and everything around them. Whis needs to put up one of his force fields to protect everyone and this battle is blowing everything away. A large crater is formed around Whis's force field which makes Beerus really mad and this fight is to be continued going into the next month's chapter. No confirmation of which form is stronger at the moment but the fact that Goku can keep up with the Beast form from the start is a sign that Goku is still more than likely stronger since he always holds back at the beginning of fights. With no real confirmation of what the next arc is, this is the prelude to it. They are bringing more and more people to Beerus' homeworld, Broly, Goten Trunks, and Piccolo likely is the next one up because honestly, Black Freezer is all they have. For Super, it's the only thing that has been built up even a little bit, and it's clear where they are taking this. My hope is that whatever happens with Black Freezer, it takes place after the end of Z. That would fall in line with Goku having a genuine reason for training Oob, just sort of like how he brought Gohan and everyone else to Beerus' world, he'll take Oob there, and then the series will finally be breaking new ground. But that's where Dragon Ball is currently. It looks promising. Again, they suddenly decide to have a shopping center arc. I just gotta tap out for a while.